Blessings and blessings, y'all. Preston smiles. It's on. One of my favorite quotes is from the Gnostic Gospels of Thomas. And it states that if you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. But if you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. Now one of the reasons why I love this quote is because most of my life I have been operating from what we call imposter syndrome. And I know that I'm not alone and I know that there's somebody out there that's been destroyed by playing so small, by allowing the inner critic, the inner roommate. I call mine P. Murder. Because every time P. Murder comes out, he tries to sabotage, he tries to tell me why I'm not good enough, why I'm not smart enough, why I shouldn't be doing this, why I'm not worthy, I'm too skinny, I'm too tall, I'm too this. But what makes me powerful, because there's only two games happening in this world at any given moment, two games. Outside in game or inside out game. What makes me powerful is I can catch P. Murder, which is playing the outside in game. It's saying, because you were put in special education, because you uh, experienced dyslexia, because you don't read as smart or as fast as everyone else, you aren't worthy of love, attention, care, fill in the book. But because I can catch P. Murder in the moment and say, I see you, I love you, I know that you're trying to protect me, and be gone. Mm. Because I can catch him in the moment, disassociate, and then step back into the truth of my being, which is perfect, whole, and complete, but not finished. Because I can step back into that and remind myself of who and what I really am, which is a unique emanation of the most high. Ooh. Mm. I begin to play the inside out game. And the inside out game says, hmm, there's only abundance. There's only now, there's only peace, there's only harmony, there's only joy. Anything that I can allow myself to experience in the body, I can experience everywhere else. I can see it everywhere else. You see guys, we have this thing in our bodies, literally, this is truth, called homeostasis, where the body is always regulating its temperature. So if you get too hot, the body regulates to make you cooler. If you get too cold, the body regulates to make you hotter. And what happens is the same thing, we have homeostasis, for our dreams, for the things that are calling us forward. And remember, if you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. But, and yet and still, we are living from, most of us are living from these family scripts. You see, we are social and historical beings, which means we were born into beliefs and interpretations. If your mom and dad said money is the root of all evil, you were born into a belief and interpretation that money and you don't mix. Because if you want their love, and remember you heard it when your psyche, when your nervous system, when all those things were forming, you were hearing that, you were ingesting it. And so you ask yourself, oh my God, why every time opportunity comes in my space, why do I sabotage it? Well, what's happening is, is it's the homeostasis of your life. It's the homeostasis of your life, sabotaging its way back down to what it feels most comfortable with. But let me remind you that people are struggling and suffering every day. Before this video is over, many people will end their lives. Before this video is over, millions of people will wake up and say, I hate my life. And guess what? You have medicine on your heart that only you can give. And so anytime you are holding the circumstances and not the vision, you are betraying not just yourself, your future kids if you decide to have them, or the kids you have now, the planet, everything you say you care about, you are betraying that when you do not allow yourself to play big and to play the inside out game. The inside out game says, God has never made a mistake. Spirit, Law, Jesus, Krishna, Buddha, Allah has never made a mistake. Therefore, I am mm, perfect, whole, and complete. Therefore, I am an on purpose with many purposes. Ooh, let that land. I'm going to say it again. Therefore, I am an on purpose with many purposes. That, that's an S. We've all been taught and told a lie that there's this one thing you're supposed to do in your life. And you do that one thing, then you'll be 
good enough and worthy enough and you got to figure out your career and be a robot and X, Y, and Z. And meanwhile, we have so many purposes. One of my purposes is to be the living embodiment of God's love as a father, husband, transformational coach, whatever it is. All of that, my purpose is to be present with you in the now moment. All of that is my purpose. It's forever unfolding like a lotus flower. And so you get to say yes to it. Yes and thank you. Yes and thank you. If there's only one prayer you say for the rest of your life, it's yes, 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 I receive. And thank you for my marching orders. Because your complaint is your mission. Get off of your ass and step up and step in and step out. Because people need you. The world needs you right now. And you playing small doesn't serve anybody.